wildlife will often move from one area, habitat, or region to another. These movements can occur daily, during certain seasons, or periods of an animal's life cycle. They can also occur in response to an event or certain stimuli. These movements can occur across land, water, or air. And they can include a trip of thousands of miles, or just a few feet for some small, microscopic animals. Reasons for movement include To search for food, water, and better conditions. For cover, safety, and escaping predators. To reach areas to rest, sleep, and hibernate. To avoid competition. To avoid inbreeding. To establish and defend a territory and search for mates. To reach areas to breed, spawn, give birth, and raise young. To avoid climate conditions, such as drought and freezing temperatures. To escape a destructive force, such as a wildfire or flood. To find a new place to live, and other needs. Some animals move away from their previous home range, place of birth, or from centers of population density to find a new permanent place to live. This movement is called dispersal. Animals that disperse do not travel back home. This one way, one time journey can be conducted actively under the animal's control or passively. Passive dispersal is the process of an individual moving with the assistance of someone or something else, such as moving with the wind or currents, or on the body of another animal or on the hull of a ship. Corals and sponges are two animals that disperse passively. Active dispersal is the process of an individual moving without assistance. The two most common types of dispersal is natal dispersal and adult dispersal. Natal dispersal is movement that is made by individuals that have become independent from their parents, usually juveniles. It's the first movement away from the individual's birth site and their parents' home range to another site where it will attempt to breed. Adult dispersal is the process of sexually mature individuals moving away from their home territory to find a new place to live and breed. It's also called breeding dispersal. Some animals journey to specific regions or localities outside of their normal home range during certain seasons or time of year. This movement is called migration. Migration includes a return journey back home, and it usually includes using the same routes and travel patterns. Migration is usually repeated throughout the animal's life cycle. Dispersal and migration are different from an animal's normal roaming within its home range. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my Beck Bio channel.